this boy is named Outlander and he lives with our chickens. We've never had that happen before, but we have some males that are mean to him and they basically banished him from the rest of our cats. And so his option was to hide under the front deck and then just sneak around for food every once in a while. Or he started sneaking in here to the chicken yard and eating the chicken food so he could get some food throughout the day because he couldn't get to the cat food. So today, we want to show you what it's like to be a cat living with chickens. And this area is the cat's one safe place, the chicken coop, the chicken run, and out in the yard inside the electric fence. So anywhere else our barn cats may be and will cause problems. They're able to roam free during the day, but at night we keep them in the shed to keep them warm. You and I we met a Tuesday morning. Sun high in the sky and I felt free. This one's Jack. We don't have a name for him yet. They're ready for me to bring them some food here. Fair enough, I guess I didn't want to see. I wanted an adventure I wanted something new I gave you half my heart and figure So this here is Jack and he is the head of all the cats. He seems very sweet to us, has a great personality, but whenever he gets around the other males and females, <laughs> causes a lot of problems. And he's not fixed yet. Our two females are fixed, so we're not having any babies here on the farm but we hadn't gotten our males fixed. So it keeps them all fighting and still have a lot of attitude. But Jack's the reason that Outlander has been banished to the chicken flock. You and I, we tried so hard to make it. You promised me that you would never leave. This cat is Eminem. We actually got her from another farm nearby. I used to work on alarm systems. There was a farm that had probably about 10 or 20 cats and she was trying to get rid of some. And so we actually took this cat. And she's been fixed, and she's probably our sweetest cat. I think she's Becky's favorite farm animal. She tries to come into our bedroom and hang out there. So she thinks she's special. Even though she's always been an outdoor cat, she secretly wants to be an indoor cat. It's been about a year and a half since she had a litter. Any of our gray ones would have come from her. So Callie and Jack, our boy and girl gray cats, both came from Eminem here. And this is Callie. We call her that because she's a sweet gray calico cat. And she's one of our girls, so she's fixed as well. She's probably one of our wildest of the bunch, so she doesn't like me to hold her too much. And we don't have a name for this guy. What should we name him? He's our only one we don't have a name for. We just never could come up with one. He's a very nice boy as well. He's a good mouse catcher. And even though Jack will fight with him, he's gotten along to where he can still stay with the flock. He hasn't got ran away like Outlander did. We have a couple living scenarios for all of our outdoor cats. Since they're barn cats and we want them protecting the place from mice, we've got a couple places for them here in the winter. We have this little converted dog house here and there's a heated pad on the bottom surrounded with some straw. And then we've got a heated dog bowl right here that they can drink out of all the time. We always give them access to this barn and at night, especially if it's gonna be down in the freezing temperatures, we just go ahead and put them in here at night. They've got a litter box right here. They'll have food right there. And then there's another heated dog bowl right there as well.
And you may be wondering, are we keeping this cat in here? Are we trapping it in here? Are we keeping it from being out with the other cats? And he has every opportunity to get out of this fence. There's this tree right here that he can climb. Go ahead. And besides the tree, there's this area right here where the cat can go up on top of the run. And he has every opportunity to leave the yard and could go the other direction, but always chooses to come back this way. not the ideal situation having a special case to take care of and worry about, but it never hurts to have an extra set of eyes to watch over the flock. And come on, who couldn't love an animal like this? So with all the chickens and turkeys and ducks, we never thought a cat would want to befriend them. Hi, kitty. So do I think Outlander's happy living with chickens? He's well fed. He doesn't have to fight over the feed bowl. There are lots of entertaining things to watch. But your roommates can get a bit noisy. There's plenty of time for snuggles. Playtime with humans. And while he doesn't have a cat friend to play with, I don't think he'd have it any other way.